Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is another WD Supercard video and we're just going to talk about King of the Rings this is uh, something that I get asked about on occasion is how do you go about winning a King of the Ring so the first thing is all about timing the best time to start a King of the Ring is when you first wake up because it takes so long to actually get to the final each of these matches is an hour long in between them so the first round is going to be three hours then the next round it is uh, the first to get three and then it's first to three again, and then first to three again, and then the final match is best of seven, which is the first to get four. So there's also strategy in how you, you build your deck. So as you can see here, um, it's all about just trying to make sure that you get three games out of the five one, and that's what leads you to this. So at the moment, unfortunately, we're still only in biometric tier which means we're not going to get a bio card for this, we're not going to get a swarm. So the best way to go about setting up your team is... I can't actually show you the different cards because I can't swap them because they were still in the kind of ring. So you want to make two tag teams. You want your three strongest cards to be at the bottom here, if you can have them. I'm trying not to actually, <laughs> not to actually hold the cards. So my three strongest cards are the Gobbledygooker, the Otis, and the Adam Cole event um, behemoth card. So the next ones, this uh, this Pete Dunn isn't actually my... So these, these three behemoths are my three next strongest cards. These... Oh my goodness. I can't touch anything. <laughs> Um, these three behemoths are our next three strongest cards, but this Pete Dunn isn't. The reason that Pete Dunn is in there is because he's the next strongest card that tags with my Oni Larkin. So that's why we've got the weaker tag team in the second area, we've got the stronger tag team in the first area, and also we've got these in order of strongest, second, third, like that. In terms of female, the strongest female. Oh, oh there we go. Congratulations, I have won the King of the Ring. That's very nice. So, um, she'll claim reward. Shoot that. Umberto. Oh, that's an F1, Xavier Woods. That's very nice. That is a nice card. Hmm. Very cool. Um, right, so, as I was saying, uh, that's us, yep, we've won our game. The opponent just stopped uh, charging. In fact, actually, if we look at it, in the first game, they fully charged, and then just realised, well, I can't beat this guy. And I think at that point, they went to bed, because they didn't charge from that point onwards. They were like, right, okay, I'm coming second. And um, so the way best of seven works is the first person to get four wins, they, they win. Um... So, these ones, they are best of five, which is the first person to get three wins. So obviously, there's a maximum of five games that can be played. That's uh, what that refers to. So, um, yeah, this was this was the only guy that gave me severe problems. He um, fully charged right up to the end. And, um, yeah, it, I just, we just got lucky. You see that a few people here have the Adam Coles, but I haven't seen anyone with a heroic Adam Cole yet. And that's because of the glitch that happened with Ring Domination. Um, which they're giving us compensation for. They're giving us 500 credits and a Swarm Equipment, I believe. It's either Swarm Equipment or Swarm Support. I think it's Swarm Equipment. So, um, yeah. So, uh, if we back out of here, then we can go into Manage. We can look at this stuff ourselves. So, as you can see here, the Walter is actually stronger, and now the Saviour Woods is going to be stronger again because it's going to be F1, he's going to be fortified, but if it doesn't match up with the rest of my cards, then he's not worth playing, it's still better to go with Pete Dunn, because you want to absolutely make sure that your tag teams actually tag with each other, so you want a left and a right arrow, you want an up and a down arrow, you, you, know, you don't want anything else. Same with the females over here, if we um, look at this. You see we've got a Swarm Jasmine, 
but she doesn't help. If she was up arrow, I would consider putting Nia Jax in the single column and then put China and Jasmine in as the tag team, but because they're both down arrow, the left Nia Jax and the right um, uh, Gonzalez, that gives us a stronger team than, you know, using two down arrows with stronger cards. So, yeah, that is how that works. Uh, obviously, you want to make sure you've got your best support cards. If you've got anything that is plus deck, that is much stronger than individual. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, if I even have any, I think all of my stuff is all plus, plus deck. So, in terms of strength of cards, oh, here we are. So... If it gives plus, if it gives a plus, like five percent to one individual thing, oh, no, we don't want that in there. Um, if it gives plus five to one individual thing, that's the weakest title card. If it's plus or minus to either your own card or your opponent's card, that's the second weakest. Then, if it gives plus power, plus whatever to the entire deck, that's stronger. But what you really want is something that gives plus that to two separate parts of your deck. And if you've got... So this is plus power and toughness, and this one is plus speed and charisma, which means that all four of my stats, power, toughness, speed and charisma, will all be improved if both of those activate, which means the opponent doesn't have something that improves, say, speed, then I'll win on speed, even if we both have the same card. So it's all about those supports. Uh, the other thing that's very important is um, these things, the equipment, because this obviously increases the power so ridiculously and the toughness, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for anything that raises power, toughness, speed or charisma, anything that raises plus ability or anything that raises the other parts, they just aren't as good. They don't, um, it won't guarantee you as many victories, it just gives you a chance, like this one here, that's plus 3% trigger, that's actually not as good as if this was plus power or plus toughness or even plus speed or charisma. So, um, yeah, but I think I've been using that because it was my next best um, equipment that I had. Like, she's got power, toughness, power, but I'm using that on her because she's the weaker card. The reason China has this one is because she's the singular card, so um, it makes more sense that way. Basically you want your single cards to be the strongest and best they can be, and you want your tag teams to be the next best they can be. That's how you go about winning these things. So that's it for this, uh, that's how you win the King of the Ring cards, and um, I'll see you all in the next video.